All right. So part of the problem is <laughs> my sewing machine is, is underneath a bunch of stuff. So I've got to, and, and I need to move it because the flaps have to open up. So I have to clear a bunch of stuff around the sewing machine. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this because I got to get these towels done. All right. Okay, so, so this is the fabric that I made on this loom. And this, it, it's like, there's a bunch of it. Let me see if you can see. There's, this is 10 yards of dishcloth fabric. And I, I used a linen and cotton blend yarn, like a really thin kind of yarn. So some of these are Christmas gifts and the rest I'm keeping them for myself because I really, really, really like this fabric. As you can see, I used, you know, those, that's, there are the colors that I used. It was five different colors, a, a off-white, a brown, a lime green, an orange, and a turquoise blue. And I kind of warped them. You can see here, you know, I kind of warped the five randomly. I wound on the, the warping board the five strands and then randomly put it in in the into the into this reed here. And that and so that gave kind of a pinstripe look. So there's a bunch of different colors. So here you can see I used I did a zigzag pattern and used the, the dark brown. And here I did a twill pattern and used the turquoise. And here I just did a straight weave with um, the white. So I have a two of each of the warp colors. So like there's the brown, the white, there's the blue in a regular uh, plain weave. There's the lime green in a plain weave and then that zigzag. And then there's the orange in a well, here's the zigzag and here's the plain weave. So I've got 10 towels and they're uh, each a yard. And you can see here where I used uh, a red wool to in between them. So what I have to do is stay stitch, um, like a zigzag stitch on either side of this red and then I'll cut it down the red. But as you can see, you know, the wool, when I washed the fabric, kind of shrunk up just a hair. So it's pulling in just a little bit. But I don't think that's going to matter too much once I get the stitching done. All right. So today I decided what I needed to do is do that, sti that stitching and cutting them apart. And then I can hem them. So I got, uh, got it cleared off. It's been a really long time since I've used this. So I'm probably... Uh, I, I think it's going to be fine. I probably should oil this. So if I can find my machine oil, I'll go ahead and do this. But boy, I don't want this to turn into an afternoon project. Okay. Here we go.
not gonna lie, I'm, I'm scared to cut these. I mean, it's kind of like uh, steaking a sweater, but I have, I spent many weeks weaving on these, so I'm a little afraid. But I have them stay stitched, and actually, I used a wool yarn, and so it felt it a little bit. See, I did two, two rows of wool yarn. So I'm gonna cut between those. And I was hoping that the, the it would have felt a little bit. And maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It was just kind of an experiment. Yeah, I'm a little nervous to cut it. And I need to cut these fringes, which I can do, I think. I don't know. Oh! I spent so much time. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just doing it. Oh my God. Okay, I can do this. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. You see, it did kind of. Well, I can pull that yarn out. I probably want to pull that yarn out before I do the hems, but it's not terrible. I mean, the felting on the wool yarn is kind of holding it in a little bit, but I'm probably I'm going to want to pull that out um, before I turn the hems and. And so and so those. <laughs> Nerve wracking. Okay, I see. I'm I'm got my big girl panties on and I'm doing it. And it should be fine. I stay stitched the heck out of these. All right. There's an edge. Let me do the, I'm going to do this raw edge too. Oi. Now this, I'm cutting off the selvage. I have a little bit of that selvage there from when I, that's a little more nerve wracking. I, from when I started this, this is the, the end that I started all that weaving. And so I have uh, a selvage end where I shot the, the warp back and forth a couple of times before I beat it to, to kind of spread, to space out the warp a little more. On the rigid hull loom, I used toilet paper. I didn't use toilet paper here. Not that I would have been opposed to using toilet paper here. Hey, that would be kind of cool spun into something. I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, there's one. Nine more to go. Okay, so now the the thing is is to decide whether or not I want to hand hem these or machine hem. And I'm gonna try a machine hem on this one towel that that came up a little short. I mean, I think it's it's a, you know, just a fine size for a towel, but most of these I made at least a yard long and this one was was short. This one fell short. This one's this one's probably just 30 inches, which is still fine for something, a napkin towel. So, I'm going to try doing some machining this hem. And if that doesn't work, if I don't like the way that that's looking then then I'll move to hand hemming him. So we'll see. All right, I'm going to sign off. That's day two for Vlogmas, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yay! And tomorrow my car comes. <sighs> Hopefully. Okay, fingers crossed that it's not going to be like yesterday's fiasco. Anyway. All right. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.